Hey guys, this is Prometheus, play, giving you more than the meta. Sky, guys, I want to talk about defensive settings um, and your coaching adjustments. If you are setting up your defense and you are getting to your auto align um, and you are running at default, you're going to lose more games online. Guys, I want to point out that even good Madden players, players that have played the game, they've played four or 500 games online, they do this number one thing that they should never do uh, to uh, basically try to protect their defense. If you run into a good Madden player, they're going to know the tricks of the game. They're going to basically know how to read coverages. And I want to point out there is alignments of the defensive backs in the game that is going to basically give a, a tell to a good opponent on what type of coverage or what type of uh, play that they need to jump into to attack the coverage. So guys, you're giving if you are running default settings on your defense and you're not making adjustments, you're not using base align or man align on defense, you're essentially telling your opponent what type of coverage you're running. Now I'm going to show you in this gameplay. This is this is a this guy is not great. He's he only had a handful of games underneath his belt. But I see the same thing going on against someone that played has played four, you know 500, 600 games. People that are, are ranked in the top 4,000s, 3,000s, 2,000s, 1,000s, they will show you the way they're running their defense. So I just want to kind of show you this gameplay. Uh, on how I was able to go ahead and read uh, people's defenses, even when they're using one of the best teams um, uh, um, um, ranked in regs uh, in this gameplay. So, fourth and 19 situation, um, I I had a couple of he had a couple of block shed uh, sacks against me or pressures against me, and as a result, um, I'm in a situation where I got to go for it and it's long yardage and distance. But because I'm able to go ahead and read the coverage, um, I'm able to go ahead and make the right decision. Now, in this type of situation, I want, to take, I want you to take a look. This defender right here is on the inside of the slot position. Um, we've got another defender that's over, uh, is straight over the other guy. I'm reading cover four uh, initially based on this read. I'm going to go ahead and take my one guy sliding in, expecting the cover four slot guy to slide out and give me the seam. And as a result, I'm able to go ahead and pick up a, qu a quick 20-yard play because he's running cover four, just as you can see in the play art. So this is something that, like, when you're playing online, you want to be able to go ahead and read um, your guys. This guy slided in. The other guy slide out um, uh, with the alignments with my base offense. And because of that, I know it's cover six. Because I'm now reading cover six, I can go into cover six speeders, understanding how to do that. So... I think one of the most important things that you need to do when you're playing online, especially if you want to be effective on defense, is that you want to disguise your defense. You never want to run default uh, as your settings when you're playing defense in the game because if you, you play default, you're essentially giving your opponent a tell of what type of coverage you're running. So once again, this guy's running cover six, I can tell, um, but, but the setup um, and the reason why is because he's got he's got that slot receiver on the inside. He's also got his outside or, or, or defensive back on the outside. You can see how the guy actually floated up and came down and played played the ball correctly. So you can see, you see this guy is slid in, this guy slid out. On the next play, he's showing me cover two. I've got basically a cover two shell, and because of that, I can go into my scheme and break out my cover two beater. Um, and basically go ahead and streak up my outside receiver. I've got a little whip route on the back side that I didn't set up correctly. I put it on the, the wrong wide receiver. I'm going to slide this guy in. Um, and I'm going to be looking for my overseer, my overseer, Shakiri down the sideline because what happens is that defensive back will let him go and the safety is going to get preoccupied by that streak. So if uh, my opponent is showing me basically his his defense if i know exactly what type of kind of a defensive uh, covered shell he's running i can quickly audible into plays that my opponent is is not you know he's he's not going to be able to defend that so right here i you know he's he's using some cover three down on the bottom i can you know, go ahead and hit him with a little wheel route on the outside because the defender plays a deep uh, deep uh, uh, shell on the backside. so 
that's one of the things you have to kind of tell when you're running against somebody. So this opponent um, wasn't the greatest. He basically, he didn't really have any kind of offensive scheme outside of if, if the play breaks down, he would take off this quarterback. But he ran default defenses online. So right here, I've got a cover two read. I've got a guy that's sh shaded outside. I've got a guy that's shaded inside um, uh, with the corners. I know this guy is going to basically run cover two. I'm going to go into a switch concept, which will beat uh, basically uh, the wheel concept off the left side. We'll actually get past the defensive back, and I'm able to get a, another touchdown because this guy was not disguising his coverages. So back on defense again, fourth and 15 against my opponent. Uh, basically hit him with a heavy blitz. He has nowhere to go with it. I'll be able to get the ball back in that type of situation. Uh, uh, once again, let's go ahead and take a look at the coverages right here. Um, I'm going to slide my guys over. I've got basically this guy that's over, he's lined straight up over the defensive back. I've got this guy lined straight up over the defensive back. So I'm reading cover one or maybe cover three, most likely cover one man. That is my is, is going to be my read. I'm going to be looking for the flip uh, of the back. And actually, as you can see, the guy actually comes down. It was a, it was a correct decision just because I knew that because of conceptually I actually had that flat and that and that count that uh, the comeback route in my offensive scheme. And if it is a cover three shell and there's nobody floating up in a, uh, up into that route, I'm going to go and be able to hit that curl route. So uh, even though he's using his own blitz, which looks kind of like a cover one shell, uh, it really was a cover one shell because he was bringing so many of these people down and then the defensive guys that are floating out that had to play the flats and that could come back into that passing lane, they're too far in and I could actually get rid of that ball fairly quick. So second and two situation uh, right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead, you show my opponent the same type of play as previously. I'm going to motion this one guy out, but I'm actually looking to switch concept off the left-hand side because there's essentially one defender out there trying to defend two people. Once again, very novice, not a good defensive move that, that you, you, you want to use in the game. So right here, you can see how this defensive back is slightly slide to the outside. This guy slide, is slided to the outside. He's got basically everybody brought in now. Now he's showing me, once again, cover two. Um, I, I had plenty of time. I'm, I'm in, in, in the game situation, I'm in the, in the second half. I'm up by two scores. I can chew the clock against this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into uh, basically you know, run play, inside zone. You can see Tampa 2 coverage, so I read it correctly. Now this guy would run the same type of a coverage on a regular basis, uh, and he really would. He would just wait for me to beat it. So you can see, once again, outside, outside leverage. Uh, I'm seeing cover two. So I'm going to go into the middle high-low. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and take my outside uh, running back. I'm going to put him in a, in a streak and motion him inside. This will break that cover two shell. And then I have a whip route on the backside just in case it's man coverage. Now, the problem with this play for me audible to a different play, it takes a long time for me to go and set that up. So I have to, have to be very decisive in setting that up. I can't flip things around. So he's still showing me cover two. Same cover two shell as he did before uh, because I can read that c correctly. Once again, it's straight to the running back. I'm going to slide him inside. And to set this up a little more efficiently, I'm going to go and do the whip on the backside with that, with that tight end uh, and watch uh, the triangle, which is Stefan Diggs. I'm able to go and hit that, get a good animation with my, my wide receiver and actually get the ball down into the end zone. And that's basically about it. Uh, after this, this guy basically checks out. Uh, if you guys um, are looking for more offensive strategies where you can read the coverages, be very efficient in offense, you can go ahead and check out my Patreon. I've got a basically a full scheme. I've got multiple games underneath my playbook. It's a Bills Giant, uh, Giants monster scheme. Basically, eight different formations are running, um, you know, 20 plus plays, and I actually have a full write up. So, once again, thank you for your support, guys. I hope you pick some tips up from this. Until next time.